Hey you guys, it's time for part two of my video diary of Slam Dance. You might be wondering why I'm sitting here like I am right now. Well, there are a few things I didn't capture on camera, so I wanted to tell you about one or two of them. Plus, I'll be doing some insert shots and adding some links. Slam Dance was a blast. My only regret is that I had to leave early. I had to get back for physical therapy on my shoulder, and several of you know that I was helping with a memorial here. So add it all up and I had no choice but to leave. Those of you who were at Slam Dance whose screenings I didn't get to see, I am so sorry. I really am. There were several I was so looking forward to and I missed them. Speaking of, some of my recommendations are as follows. Zombie Girl, a documentary about a young 12 year old girl who decided to make her own full length feature zombie movie and the filmmakers followed her along and documented the whole journey. Quite fascinating and well worth a view. Another film worth seeing, the feature that we opened for, I Sell the Dead. <sighs> Glenn McQuaid directed this film with Ron Perlman, Dominic Monaghan, and Larry Fessenden. It was just incredible, terrific. If this feature film doesn't get full release, well, I will literally eat something gross that makes my stomach messed up. I'd say I'd eat a hat or a shoe or something, but we all know I'm not going to do that. But, I mean, it really was just a fabulous movie. I cannot imagine it not getting full feature release. You're also going to see um, just a couple little clips of the cast and crew at uh, the screening. I'm not going to use much of it because I don't want to step on their rights and their work. Oh, another feature film worth seeing, Weather Girl. I didn't get to stay for the screening of it, but I did get to see the trailer and I met some of the people involved with it. And just the trailer alone, I cannot wait to see this movie. There was another group of people from a feature that I really so sad I couldn't go see. Their started around the same time as ours, so I was there, but because of timing, Mississippi Damned. Talk about a beautiful journey. The storyline's just incredible. This one is definitely worth a view, too. I got to meet, uh, real briefly, Heidi Van Leer, and Heidi blogs here. I'm going to put up some links on her. Um, Heidi not only has a blog about entering and being part of film festivals, she has got a YouTube short film. Well, it's a short film that's here on YouTube that is absolutely one of the most adorable shorts I have ever seen. I'm also going to put the link here. Okay, uh, real quick on star sightings. It's kind of interesting. I didn't react very strongly to those I did see. I mean, there were a lot of actors that I saw walking around going, oh, I know him. He's from that show or oh, he's from that show or and I couldn't think of names and they were doing their thing and I was doing mine so I didn't try to talk to them. You'd think I would have gotten really excited when Spike Lee was a few feet away, and yet it was like, oh, there's Spike Lee. You'd think I would have gotten excited when everyone went, Michelle, Ben Affleck just walked out the door. Oh, did he? Uh, Michelle, Mariah Carey's right down the street. Okay. You know who I geeked out on? John Schneider from Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> the man is still gorgeous after all these years. Turns out he's a bit of a blues hound, and I've got to find his old albums because evidently he's got blues cuts on them. I, I'm just fascinated by that. Also, I really loved the fact that I did get to talk to Dominic Monaghan after our films were done, because our short film opened up for his feature. So a little mouth to feed played before I sell the dead. And uh, he did a great job in his role. I wanted to talk to Larry Fessenden too, but I didn't get a chance. But Dominic, just one of the nicest um, young men. And um, although I love his work, I'd never thought about him, you know, in that way. And standing there looking at him eye to eye, I have to admit, he's a little hotty, isn't he? Um, it was a delight to meet him and get to talk to him actor to actor and a really genuine, genuine person. If I have not already said it, and I sure did, I Sell the Dead, a feature film worth getting full release. All right, folks, I'm going to try to edit this down so it's not too much, and on with more of my video diary 
of Slam Dance Part 2. You're going to meet some cast, some crew, and some more Slam Dance staff, including a few that have come to Kukuloris here in Wellington. The only thing I need now is flashes going off to, you know. Well, I, got, I got a flash. Maybe I can do it in post. <laughs> yeah. This is the line for our movie, guys. You go ahead. My video diary. Alright. I I have the conch. Y'all just drop it. We're beginning now. So with that, welcome to Slam Dance. I'm the executive director of the festival and the head of um, narrative feature programming. What do, what do I do again? Um, and I'm thrilled to have you all here. I hadn't seen that yet, and um, our director of film competitions, when we paired things, was like, Trust me, it's going to be such a good fit, and it really will be, so. Um, so, based on a true story, I imagine? Yes. <laughs> sort of, actually. You know, you, you write these things, and then maybe sometime later you kind of realize, like, what dark corner they came from, and um, my grandmother spoiled the hell out of me, and she used to actually say, I love you so much, it's simple, so... I think maybe I'm the little demon baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort of based on it, so. That's, did you know when you came up with the short, sorry, that you were hoping to expand it eventually? No, um, the producers and I, the or, who are here, Barry Green, who for some reason is wearing a white pimpsuit tonight. <laughs> 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 uh, we're, we're moderators on a forum called DVX User, and we host a film contest every four months, and they have themes, usually genre themes. We do have one like drama or love or sort of humanistic uh, contest, but the rest of them are zombie, Halloween. Uh, this one was for All Hallows Fest, so we were just sort of suiting up to, um, you know, sort of for our lodge uh, competition or whatever. And we actually shot two films at the same time. That was a very intricate story question, and you had the answer. I'm, I'm impressed. Um, any last questions? Thank you so much. Just oh, very there was can, Michelle, oh. Michelle, can you stand? Oh, she's here. That's right. her eyebrows and she didn't use lotion for like a month so everybody should see how pretty she wants. Very generous of you. Thank you so much. And another DMS drink of water. Larry Fasky. We had on these very, you know, thin costumes and the vampire was wearing, you know, Essentially. And the only way to be kept warm was this tiny little heater that was basically like a small jet engine that we had <laughs> stood next to it and we just, we just drank whiskey all night. <laughs> it was the whiskey. It was the only way that we stayed warm. But you know, you really learn about like, you know, who's an honorable man because it's amazing. Like, he was a vampire and she'd be like, ha ah. And he was like, come on honey, stay away! I need that warmth! We're at the uh, Salt Lake Airport heading back to North Carolina. I'm tired. Festival's still going on. <laughs>